All right, my friend, welcome. I'm Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder here at the Fit Follow Project. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to do the Russian twist, which is one of the most effective but poorly performed ab exercises that so many people screw up. In this video, we're gonna cover how to do it properly, a lot of the key form points. You can start implementing this into your routine for a stronger, better looking core. Um, get out your pen and paper. I think you're gonna learn a ton. Let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com all right, so the Russian twist, it starts off on the floor in a nice seated position. So you roughly need you know, a couple feet of floor space where you can plop your butt down and where you can plop your feet nice down here. And the first thing I want you to do is get yourself on a point where you have a little more like around a 90 degree angle right here with your legs and you're able to plant your heels nice on the floor. Next, you're gonna move your torso back right here and get in a position where, again, you're creating roughly another 90 degree angle here between your quads and your torso. And this is just enough back that you can really feel at this point that your core is gonna start engaging. Now, where I want you to start is with your heels touching the floor. I want you to extend your chin up a little bit like this to kind of elongate this core. It's a mistake people make by tucking the chin here. Stay proud, get the chin up for these Russian twists, and then get your hands right up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate from the core. A big mistake people make Make is they start to move their hands right on here like they're doing the dab or something like this. I want you to keep your hands here and all the motion comes from the core right here. Just like this. So the arms are not moving independent of my core. So kind of feel like your arms are kind of glued like this and for them to move I have to rotate my core and I don't want you to rotate too far. You don't need to really stress yourself laterally but just right here that chin stays up right here. You're going to feel it a ton in your core. As you progress, the first thing I want you to do is work on getting your heels off the floor. Even moving your heels up by even about one inch is going to make it a lot harder on your core. So as you're locked in here, you sit back, heels come up one inch. Here, you come through, right through here. And you can see it's very challenging. I mean, you've been shaking a little bit and that's good. So that's your first progression. And the next thing, if you're an absolute beast, and you can work up to this is using a plate here. And we'll see if I can even do these. But the progression is one, we're here, we're in this good position. Feet is one inch off the floor here. And find your balance point and rotate through. Chin stays up, rotate, feel it right here. And you wanna make sure that you're not cheating and moving the arms like this, as you see most people do. It's arms stay even with the torso moving, and that's how you do a Russian twist. So with this exercise, again, it's all about form. You can cheat your way by doing this kind of stuff. I like to have you with the arms extended. It's a lot harder, and it keeps you honest when you're moving through this motion, as opposed to doing some weird stuff here with your arms. Arms move with torso, that's the key point with this exercise. In the progression, start with your heels on the floor, just like this. Do around three sets of 10 to 15 reps, and you're really gonna feel it in your core and in your hip flexors, and as you get stronger, progression number two, Heel comes off that floor. Again, three sets of 15 reps would be something I would do at the tail end of your workout. And finally, when you're ready, add a weight plate or use a dumbbell, extend it out like this, and man, your core is gonna be lit on fire. So I hope you found this valuable. This is a really cool exercise because most times when people work their abs, they do a lot of flexion, like a lot of crunching, and not enough lateral motion like that. So the trunk, the core, stabilizes your spine. So it's great to train it both in the flexion, extension plane, as well as in the rotation plane. And that's what Russian twists are great for. So uh, go forth, twist away. I hope you found this valuable. If you liked this video, you found it useful, give us a thumbs up, let us know, and definitely hit subscribe, because here at the Fit Follower Project YouTube channel, we publish new videos like this every single week, and we are, already have hundreds of videos on our channel, and we're publishing more on exercise tutorials like this, but also the best meal plans, how to stay motivated, you know, and all the important things we need to stay strong and healthy for our families. We're the Fit Follow Project. This is what we do. So thanks for being here, my friend. I will see you around the channel. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, and I'll talk to you very soon.